One of the things we wanted to share is, is the importance of family and oftentimes we are busy doing so many other things that we neglect the main thing. And I believe that as believers, if we're going to be effective for the things of God, we ought to create an atmosphere in our homes that will bless our children, bless our marriages, bless our home. But when we have a date night, we do breakfast together, we go work out together. We do lunch together, we may go to a movie together, and then we spend the evening together doing nothing, and nothing not necessarily meaning that it's got to be expensive. And as we are blessed in our homes, there's a residual effect that happens within our community. A single parent household where there's just a mother in there is that men's ministries in the church uh, can be an effective uh, conduit through which boys start learning how to become men. Uh, I think that, and let me say this also, we live in a society now where somebody has convinced a woman that they don't need a man to help a boy become a man. So we wanted to share that and prayerfully uh, we communicated it in a way that the people of God would grasp it and life will be better for it. One of the things we wanted to share about the um, in the leadership class in our second part is that the importance of the leader evaluating him or herself to come to an understanding of who we are. Uh, if we don't know us, we cannot be effective in helping others. And if we don't know us, we run the risk of allowing the enemy to bring out the dark side in us. As a codependent leader, chances are the ministry suffers because you didn't empower the people to be sufficient in your absence. I changed a servant. He didn't say, I'm the first pastor of the Jerusalem Church, I'm the half-brother of Jesus. He said, at the end of the day, whatever my role and responsibility in ministry is, I'm just a servant. I wish I had some people that would get excited about that. Because at the end of the day, it is not my status and my position that makes me what I am. It's my spiritual condition that gets me to where I need to be. And the truth is, it doesn't matter how saved we are and what our ministry responsibility is, each of us has a dark side that we need to discover what ticks and ticks us off, uh, what is some of the negative traits in our personality, narcissism, codependence, compulsive behavior that can keep us from uh, being healthy. So when we discover us and we come to an understanding who we are in Christ, we can be a more effective in ministry and healthy in helping others.